Hi, and welcome to this short video introducing VMware Validated Solutions and the Developer-Ready Infrastructure Solution on VMware Cloud Foundation. To begin, let's take a brief look at what a VMware Validated Solution is and how we got here from VMware Validated Design. First, let's take a quick look at this eye chart of a diagram that describes the VVD 6.2 architecture. As you can see, there are a number of discrete components here, all of which are interdependent to one degree or another. This is a big and complex system by design. The intent was to deliver an all-encompassing enterprise-ready design with guidance for every component involved. When you take a step back and look at it from the 10,000-foot view like we do here, you can see that while necessary in this format, this is quite unwieldy in practice. As an answer to that inherent complexity, we're introducing VMware Validated Solutions. In our VVS documentation, we take the most important bits of solution design, pull them out, and let that stand alone as a guide for design and implementation of solution-focused and solution-centric components. The common, that is, things that apply across the board for our solutions, such as vCenter Server, SDGC Manager, and so on, VVD documentation is moved to the VCF documentation set, so we're able to add value by removing the need for a single monolithic documentation set for a given solution and compartmentalizing the good stuff. Now, let's take a look at the developer-ready infrastructure VMware Validated Solution running on VMware Cloud Foundation. As with most of our first wave of VVSs, the work product here is not net new. We've taken existing work from prior iterations of VVD and used it as a base from which to start. Let's use that as a vehicle for showing how we're able to drive additional value with VVS. In VVD 6.2, the deployment guide for vSphere with Tanzu workload domain adds on to the SDDC manager workflow by providing end users with step-by-step -step guidance for completing a number of prerequisite steps, then walking through SDDC manager-based workflow. Once that's completed, the deployment guide then walks in users through an example of best practices configuration of the environment for production use. Without any scripting or automation, the current state exists, as you can see here, as a series of do this, then do that type instructions for completing requisite tasks. This can be onerous for some end users and functionally it doesn't scale beyond a single administrator performing a single task in a serial fashion. It's not inherently repeatable. People make mistakes, they skip steps, we're all prone to error in this manner. With a developer-ready infrastructure VVS, we're able to take those complex and multi-part steps and turn them into a single item of PowerShell using the Power Validated Solutions module available in PS Gallery today. We take actions that require a double-digit number of steps and, after defining a few variables in PowerShell, executes them in a single or small number of PowerShell commands, as shown here. While simplification and compartmentalization were our goals, we can't forget that a deep level of explanation and justification for the steps shown earlier is still a basic part of EVS. These examples show the in-depth and thorough accounting for each decision necessary to land on a design that meets customer needs and drives positive design patterns. So why does this matter? Number one, it simplifies the process of deployment, making it more repeatable and less prone to operator error. Removing the need though those manual steps are still in the documentation set if you want to keep doing things by hand, for manual implementation drives a reduction in deployment time of around 30%. While doing these things, we maintain the rigor of VVD-based design documentation by continuing to include in-depth and thorough design, including justification and design implications for each decision made. In the end, all of this comes together to make the solution guidance more consumable. So where do we go from here? Take a look at the additional collateral here, and you're on your way to an enterprise-ready design and implementation of developer-ready infrastructure on VMware Cloud Foundation. Thanks for watching.